All right, I've got my trailer in the workshop. The end of last year, uh, it copped a little bit. So we've just got to tidy it up and get it ready for this year. So a few things that need to be fixed. This breakaway switch is broken. So I'm going to put a new breakaway switch on. Uh, I'll just check all the wiring. The uh, One of these angle lines is supposed to be through here. This is like a cradle to hold the buckets. It's broken off, so I'm going to weld that back on. I'm going to make a bracket to hold that spare tire. Because that used to be mounted under here. But it's just, it's a dumb spot. Because you're always putting the weight of the excavator on there. And it's aluminium. It's not the strongest material when you're putting like a two-ton excavator on top of it. So I'll, I'll work out a better way to do that. Maybe mount it on the side or something. Uh, breakaway battery needs to be changed. Just got to tidy up some wiring issues. I know at the back there was something. Yeah, number plate light. We'll reconnect that. And uh, I think that was it. Oh no, this little side light's a bit damaged. I'll um, see if I can just glue that back in or something for now. But yeah, just make it, um, just tidy it back up, ready for another year's work. Alright, so I've got, I've got one of these universal spare wheel mounting uh, things. <laughs> they usually just go on the drawbars. A couple of bolts and you clamp it sort of on there. Mount the spare tyre here. But uh, in this case, this drawbar is a lot bigger than this. So I want to mount it sort of here somewhere. So I might just cut cut this piece off here, weld this flat. So when we mount it here, we can get two bolts in the side, two bolts through the top, and mount it there somewhere. Mount it on the drawbar, for the two holes in the back, that'll be pretty strong. Primer on there. Won't be able to get back in there once it's welded. Way too hard. Let's try that again. I 
the wooden galley. That'll work. That'll work good actually. I'm going to put two bolts in here, two bolts for the top, and that should, that should keep it pretty solid. I suppose better keep it simple because if, if we use this bolt, any tire iron should be able to get it off. Whereas if I put two bolts in here, whoever has to change his tire if it is a problem and they don't have a shifter or anything on them, they get in trouble. I just found this piece of stainless steel, so maybe I'll just put that on there. We'll drill that hole out here and line that little hole up.
that, that'll do. I'm happy with that. You can put a padlock through there, I suppose. No one steals my wheel. You can see it doesn't stick out past the guards. So, and that clearance light is still perfect. Yep. I'm happy with that. It'll work good. All right, let's do these bars. new bits here breakaway switch all right so essentially this is just a wedge between two metal I don't know contacts in there so inside this box of contacts all like this if the trailer was to come off the car, this cable will be connected somewhere else in the car, obviously, not on the same tow ball or something. So the trailer comes away, this cable's connected to the car and it pulls it out, making a connection. And the connection is what gives the backup battery power to the brakes, applying the brakes. So the trailer will stop on its own. So, yeah, this is <laughs> not connected. So it's not very safe in this. So I'm going to fix this one up.
That'd be the best. I'll sort out this battery. closing properly. No, I don't like this. What is all this? Blue wire. I've got a new one here. I should just put it on. Same thing. See that now? That makes more sense. Yeah, I'm going to change this. Well, this has a battery in it too. How do we know if it's any good though? charged I got I got a whole bunch of these parts from a from a store that closed down 
and there was um, a whole pile of like defective parts and uh, the guy said to us that you know the d defective parts you can take them they're all no good they're all warranty claims so this whole breakaway system I'm assuming works properly and the only thing wrong with it was the battery so in my case who cares I've got a new battery here anyway which is showing it's charged and then we'll take this rubbish off so I have black black white blue black white blue it's all we need and we can connect this up from the bottom external guys take all this out and I'll wire it up properly that's the charger does it have a light saying charging? alright let's just see something if I plug this in and plug it into the car light was on. So it literally only charges the battery when the brakes are applied.
Let's see if it works with the brakes. Perfect, I'm happy with that. Um, all right, so the trailer works now. It's just that brake light. It's 10.30 at night. I am thinking about calling it quits, but I should do that. <laughs> all right, there's a light and that's it. Pack up in the morning. Perfect. All right. <clears throat> All right, it's a little late now, but it's done, so we'll clean up. I'll clean up in the morning. Um, I'm pretty sure we got all the jobs done. So that number plate works now. We fix that up. This was most important, mounting the spare tire, because it's um, handy to have one if you need it. <laughs> and that little bracket came out perfect. And then welded these back on. Now the welds aren't pretty, but it is what it is. It'll hold on. It's um, probably a bit thick for my little TIG welder. But it got it done, it's alright. Then the breakaway switch. So I should be able to test this now, but I can't pull this out. This is impossible. So pull that out, and you should hear the brakes on the trailer turn on because there's a new battery in there now. But this is, um. Yeah, let me set this camera up. not be this hard. There we go. Okay. Well, the switch is out and I can't hear the brakes. <laughs> so something's not right here. So I lost a little bit of footage. I uh, had to trace back the wire from the breakaway switch back to the battery and found that it was broken so I just soldered it back together now when I pull that breakaway switch cable and that, that wedge comes out power goes to the brakes applies the brakes and the trailer should stop so if it was to fall off the 
car for any reason, that cable would then pull the switch out and the trailer would automatically apply its own brakes. That's it. So all the bits are fixed. Tomorrow, I'll clean up. Alright. Another job done.